June 1st has come to pass, and the Miami Dolphins find themselves with some cap space. Their quest for success takes center stage as we delve into their needs and the enticing allure of DeAndre Hopkins. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and give the video a like. Also, turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all things Dolphins. Now, back to the video. In the realm of football, the Dolphins find themselves faced with a crucial decision. Prioritize their team's requirements or get swept away by the enchantment of Hopkins. The Dolphins' wide receiver group would undoubtedly benefit from Hopkins' presence. With his impressive track record as a three-time All-Pro and five-time Pro Bowl selection, spanning a decade in the league, his addition would enhance the Dolphins' overall receiving prowess. Picture him utilizing his strong hands, physicality, and exceptional route-running skills, akin to a tight end, seamlessly complementing speedsters like Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell, while providing invaluable support to our young Polynesian quarterback. Furthermore, Hopkins' arrival would greatly aid head coach and offensive play caller Mike McDaniel. The additional options at his disposal would unlock the true potential of the Dolphins' offense, amplifying their chances of success. Additionally, Hopkins' talent surpasses that of Braxton Berrios, the likely number three receiver, making him an undeniable upgrade and strengthening the team's receiving core. However, we must consider the financial implications of acquiring Hopkins. The Dolphins currently have approximately 13 point. 9 million available, according to OverTheCap.com. Gauging in a bidding war for a number three wide receiver could strain their financial stability. And, to be honest, makes little to no sense with more pressing needs at hand. If Hopkins demands a contract similar to Odell Beckham Jr.'s one-year, $15 million deal with the Baltimore Ravens, the Dolphins must proceed cautiously and avoid compromising their financial health. Intriguingly, Hopkins' recent decision to hire an agent adds an interesting twist to the situation. Speculation suggests potential reunions with former teammate Deshaun Watson in Cleveland, or a nostalgic return to his former team, the Houston Texans, could trigger a bidding war among interested parties. This factor further complicates the financial landscape for the Dolphins. Turning our attention to the Dolphins' more pressing needs, we find ourselves immersed in a world where backup left tackle, receiving tight end, workhorse running back, and improved interior offensive and defensive line depth are the focal points. The Dolphins require a reliable backup for their Pro Bowl left tackle, Taron Armstead, who battled injuries last season. While it's impossible to directly replace Armstead's impact, Securing a quality backup would offer valuable insurance against adversity. Additionally, exploring the availability of running back Dalvin Cook presents a compelling alternative. Allocating a salary upwards of $8 million to Cook rather than Hopkins would prove more prudent and fortify the team's offensive arsenal. The Dolphins should remain vigilant as opportunities to bolster their interior offensive and defensive lines may arise. This requires maintaining financial flexibility, enabling the team to adapt and enhance these crucial areas. Lastly, the Dolphins must address their need for a receiving tight end. While this may not necessitate a significant financial commitment, finding a suitable low to mid-priced option would bring a new dimension to their offensive strategy, amplifying their aerial attack. In this intricate dance of team building, the Dolphins must strike a balance with the funds available from the Byron Jones release. They face a crucial decision. Chase after the allure of assembling an unrivaled wide receiver trio, potentially compromising their offensive line, or opt for a formidable duo of wide receivers while fortifying their offensive line to unprecedented levels of effectiveness. In this scenario, the latter option holds greater appeal. Thus, the Dolphins' needs must take precedence over the enchantment of DeAndre Hopkins, the harmony of their offensive line, the depth of their interior lines, the security of a backup left tackle, the versatility of a receiving tight end, and the potential acquisition of a running back like Dalvin Cook are all paramount to the Dolphins' journey towards success. As they navigate the complex landscape of the NFL, Finding the perfect equilibrium is crucial to emerge victorious and attain their ultimate goal. But I want to know, what do you think the Miami Dolphins should do with this extra cap space? 
And what do you think is the most likely scenario for us heading into the season? Let me know in the comments. Peace out, FinHub fam.